I've got work to do. We know that your resistance is down. Chills and fever, that is like classic flu. In a classic cancer patient. Okay, there's no reason to be negative. We got on top of the problem right away. And Dr. Khan is all over it, and soon the test results will be back, and we can get you home and go to sleep. I can't sleep. Remember? That's how this whole thing started. Well, nobody can sleep with the flu. That's what all those cold remedies are for, right? It looks like this round of chemo isn't working. Are you sure? Too sure to keep it up. All it's doing right now is slamming you with debilitating side effects. We have to stop. So, what's the next step? Stronger drugs? Bone marrow transplant. Which involves what? We basically uh, wipe out your own bone marrow to make sure we destroy all the cancer cells. Then we replace your marrow with the donors. We can have mine. It needs to be a close genetic match. We'll test you. Of course, you might by chance be a match, but it's more likely we'll find someone in JR's immediate family. Well, what about my own bone marrow? The batch that we saved before the chemotherapy? I'm afraid we found traces of a hepatitis virus there, so we can't use it now. What if there is no match in my family? No, there's got to be someone there with the right genes. We'll still get you on a national registry right away. But these things take time. I don't want anyone to know. But they're gonna have to. Not tonight. I'm sure that we'll find a match. And, you know, once you have... Stop it! I can't deal with any forced enthusiasm tonight. I'm tired. I just... I just want to go to bed. Just tell me what you're thinking, JR. Don't let me out. It's just... We have to understand that... We have to prepare ourselves in case... No. I no, 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 I won't. I need you to look at the reality of this with me. Okay? You want to know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling isolated knowing that I'm running out of options and the woman that I love refuses to acknowledge it. I need you to be on the same page with me. Not as Miss Positive or a cheerleader. But just the two of us facing whatever's gonna come. Come on, come on, let's sit down. What can I do for you? Did you get that sedative refilled? I'm gonna need help sleeping tonight. Okay, yeah, I think it's just down at the pharmacy. I'll go pick it up. I'll be right back. I know all about tonight's diagnosis. How? Have you forgotten that I'm on the board of directors of the hospital? I have standing orders to send me any reports with your name on them. Well, forget about all the laws that breaks. But it just happens to be none of your damn business. Yeah, your oncologist is a lightweight. I'm going to bring in some of my specialists. No, you're not. I'm going to get you a donor. Everybody in the family is going to be tested. Sky, Haley... Colby. And of course, we'll get you to the head of all the nationalists. Yes. I'm going to handle this my way. 
Oh, fine, fine place that's gotten you so far. Now, you should have told me the moment you were diagnosed. Why? So you can try to take over my life like you're doing right now? So I can save your life, JR. We've lost precious time. We should have been more aggressive from the beginning. Well, so now you want to take over my death, too. The first thing you're going to do is stop talking about dying. Yeah, you know what, please? I, I just, I happen to not be feeling very well tonight, so can you go? Can you leave? Can you leave me to what's left of my life? No. No, son, I can't. I don't want your help. I don't want your doctors, and I don't want your pity. This, this has nothing to do with pity. No, I want you to go. Too bad. Because I'm going to fight you. I tell I wear you down. And when I'm through fighting you, I'm going to fight for you. I will not let you die. 